Welcome sa zipline.com. Tutuloy natin yung ating series on calculus, no? And uh, kung sinusundan nyo yung ating series, ang pinag-aralan natin sa mga previous videos ay yung pagkuha ng limits, no? And uh, ang isa sa mga techniques or strategies na ginagawa natin pag yung lumabas sa isang rational function ay 0 over 0, ang ginagawa natin is nag-factor tayo, no? So, yung mga previous videos, ang method na ginagamit natin is yung factoring method. Now, syempre, hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon pwede tayo mag-factor, no? Halimbawa, dito sa example, na, sa dalawang examples na to, no? Uh, hindi tayo pwede mag-factor kaagad. So, ang strategy dito is we expand and then we simplify, no? Kung pwede tayo mag-factor, mag-factor tayo later on, no? So, let's have our first example. Uh, makikita natin as as h approaches 0, kung magsisubstitute tayo kaagad, magiging 4 plus 0 squared, that's 16 minus 16, 0 over 0. So, hindi tayo pwede magsubstitute kaagad. No? So, pareho din to sa previous cases natin, pero this time, hindi tayo pwede mag-factor. So, anong pwede natin gawin? We have the limit as h approaches 0. Uh, siguro pwede natin i-expand ito, no? Itong uh, 4 plus h quantity squared, that's 16, no? Plus 8h plus h squared, no? Tama ba tayo? Uh, this is uh, binomial, no? So, 16 plus 8h plus h squared, no? Minus 16 all over h, no? And then, which is equal to the limit as h approach 0 of um, pwede na tayo, tayo mag-cancel dito 16 minus 16 is 0 no? so magiging 8h 8h plus h squared no? over h ano pwede natin gawin dyan? may common tayo na h dito so pwede tayo mag-factor ng h no? so this is the limit as h approach 0 of Pag factor out natin yung h, so matitira sa loob ay 8 plus h, no? And then we, also, we still have uh, our h in the denominator. So pwede tayo mag-cancel, no? This becomes the limit of, as h approaches 0, of 8 plus h, which is equal to, kung substitute na tayo, pwede na. 8 plus 0 is 8. Okay? So, ang sagot natin dito is at the limit of um, and the limit of 4 plus h quantity squared minus 16 over h is equal to 8. No? So, pwede natin ilagay na ganyan. Okay? So, let's have our second example. The limit of... Uh, this is also h approaches 0, no? The limit as h approaches 0 of 3 times negative 3 plus h quantity squared minus 27 over h. No? So again, pwede natin expand katulad ng ginawa natin dito magiging the limit as h approaches 0 of this is 3, no? This is 3 times quantity 9 plus oh, this is minus minus uh, 6h plus h squared. Squaring a binomial lang ito, no? Hindi ko na, pinapal, hindi ko na in-explain yan, no? But uh, ang assumption is that alam niya na mag-square ng binomial. Uh, even mentally, no? So, kung hindi nyo kayang i-mental, you can just uh, do it manually, yung FOIL or kung anong method, descriptive property. So, minus 27 over h, which is equal to the limit of Pwede natin i-distribute ang 3. We have um, that's uh, 27 27 minus 18h plus h squared Tama ba? 27 minus 18h plus 3. No. Distribute natin yung 3. 3h squared minus 27 all over h. So, anong pwede natin i-cancel dyan? 
27 minus 27 is 0, no? So, yun ang matitira. Which is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Pwede na natin ilabas yung h dito, no? Kasi factorable yung h katulad ng kanina. So, we have... Uh, We have h times the quantity negative 18 plus 3h. Ano ba tayo? 3h over h. And again, we cancel this out. Which means that the limit of negative 18 as h approaches 0 of negative 18 plus 3h. This is equal to, the substitute lang natin, negative 18 plus 3 times 0, which is equal to negative 18. So basically, the, the idea here is, pag hindi na natin um, pwede factor, uh, factor out, then we try expanding, no? o meron tayong pwede expand. This time, in-expand natin yung um, ito, no? and then we simplify. No? And then see if we can factor out. So ano na siya, halo-halo na siya yung strategy, no? And again, uh, again and again, sinasabi ko, uh, ang pag-compute dito is not about limits really, but it's about your skill in factoring, in expanding. Ibig sabihin, babalikan yung algebra nyo. Okay? So, I hope marami kayo natutunan. Invite ko kayo sa sit9.com. Pwede kayong uh, pumunta dyan. Nandyan yung ating mga links no? to the videos. Nandyan ako organized. So, pwede nyo punta niya. And of course, you can um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kung may tanong kayo, mag-comment kayo sa YouTube. Uh, sasagutin natin yan. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.